Well, the Canucks are gonna <laughs> the Canucks are gonna take on the Oilers. Oh, we're almost done with these games, you guys. Here in this one, uh, the Oilers. Uh, uh, yeah, the, this line is just wrong. Uh, let me see why. It, it, let me make sure I didn't enter this one in incorrectly, or has there been uh, that? Yeah, sorry about that, you guys. That's just an error because we know the Oilers. <laughs> Maybe I was like. Boy, are they really reacting to that terrible performance in the last game here like that? Uh, for the Canucks, it's Thatcher. I just threw up in my mask a little bit. Demko here against Skinner. I believe in this one. <laughs> you might have to Google that one if you don't know what I'm talking I don't know if I want to. Uh, it's still early in the morning here. don't want to gross anybody out. But uh, in this one, uh, yeah, we, we know what's kind of going on here, I think, with the Oilers up against the Canucks with uh, these two. Uh, these goalies are not uh, confirmed yet for this uh, particular matchup, but you do have uh, – um, let me see here. This one opened – Oh, mostly around two dollars, and now uh, maybe still around uh, two dollars. But I'm showing sevens across the board here, so that total obviously is wrong. Also, must have had a. It's funny we haven't really seen too many sevens across the board like this game. Every just about every place has it seven under twenty or just or uh, even just a little bit more right now. But uh, no doubt uh, this one certainly is showing a seven right now. I think that was just a mistake on my part on on the line entry because you know, I'm showing mostly sevens everywhere. Yeah, there was a little bit of an opener uh, at six and a half here. But uh, I'm not... I'm not clear on the total here necessarily, but I'm probably going to be on Vancouver here, I would think, in this one against Edmonton. Uh, just concerns. Yeah, I guess they should bounce back in a big way, especially against a, a team like Van, you know, a semi-rival in Vancouver, certainly here. But if I can get, what, a dollar – Minus a dollar twenty-five or so. What is the puck line here? I want Vancouver on the puck line at minus a dollar thirty-five. That would be my play in this one. I'm sure Edmonton will fix their woes off of that. Uh, I would expect that they would bounce back in a big way. Uh, you know, after seeing nine goals in the last game, I just the thing that bothers me is hanging a seven here on this one when everyone's going to be pointing in an over with this game after what happened last game. I'm not sure I'm going to want to be necessarily a part of it just yet. Certainly would lean to the over, but if I would, uh, you know, six and a half over minus 140 or so would probably be a better option to me in this one. So I'll just take Vancouver on the puck line. Uh, figure Edmonton, there's going to be, it sounds, feels like a lot of variance in Edmonton games right now. Uh, hopefully they can bounce back from that uh, awful performance. So heavy yeah. tickets on the on the over also. So I know a lot of uh, I don't talk about those things very often. I pay more attention to those things. A lot of people talk about those things and maybe you know gloss over it. I don't talk about it that much and actually pay a lot of attention mm. to it. But I just don't think it is. You know, something you could just, like you said, you can have two different people look at two different numbers and interpret uh, off of the same line because the, the books are being offered. But one thing with the line services uh, compared to, like, where they might use just one specific book is the line service, uh, one in particular that I use, it actually uses a, um, a consensus of, a multiple of multiple books so i feel more trustworthy when i quote a ticket count uh, and i really only use ticket count i really don't use uh money at all people do use money saying the bigger bets are coming in but uh you know my 
$200 might not be like your $200 type of thing, right? Uh, you never know uh, who's betting there. You know, uh, bet the guy with a $20 sweat is yelling louder than the guy with the, uh, you know, $20,000 sweat. So a ticket count for me is more important. Well, you could always uh, inflate the ticket count. Some guy could go up to the window and put uh, $120 bets. Why would anybody be doing that? Okay. 